We now know that the brain is continually changing itself, physically, functionally, chemically, as a, as a product of how you engage it in life. It's actually changing itself on the basis of many billions of moments of brain change. So it all begins with a critical period. It begins with the baby, in which there is a special kind of plasticity. The brain in the baby has no way to control or very effectively control its own change. So basically, it's a period of anything goes plasticity. The brain is advancing the machinery that's going to control plasticity for the brain's own self-determined benefits at an older age. The machine actually grows up the machinery that says that's now going to control plasticity when the, when the brain and the baby child are older. Well, you learn to use, use a tool like this. And this is a lever with a scoop on the end. And this is my granddaughter, Mitra. Uh, when she was learning to use this tool, and you can see that she hasn't yet really perfected its use. <laughs> you can also see she's also using an alternate method. <laughs> now, this seems simple, but if you, if you were given the task of building a machine that could do this, you'd need probably five engineers in two years to make a really good one, right? It's not a trivial task. The brain is rewiring itself to support the facile operation of the control machinery that's controlling the tool. You can say what the machinery is doing is through a series of successive approximations, creating an ideal processor for all of the conditions of use of the tool. It's going to do this through thousands and thousands and thousands of practice trials. The try has to be successful. And when the try is successful, the brain says, save that one. Now it turns out that you've gone through hundreds of change progressions like this, in which your brain has been collectively massively specialized. I don't think about it very much, but your, your brain is really pretty weird, because you're a modern human. 70 or 80 percent of the way you spend your time, maybe 90 percent every day, had no precedent for the average human a thousand years ago. Really not all that much precedent for the average human. 100 years ago, this guy is a CEO of the largest advertising company in Australia. So he's not a natural, he's not a normal individual, he's a, he's a well above average individual. We trained him for three months. Uh, we measured his operations in his brain in all kinds of ways. We measured his performance ability, and then we set him off in the training. This activity in this region is known in a series of studies to be directly correlated with intelligence. This is a positive change that occurred in us as a consequence of his training. Now, he's sure he's smarter, but one of the things he did in this, in this series was at the end of the first program in the series, about halfway into training, he went to the World Memory Championship, and he came in 53rd in the world in card counting. He was the number two Australian. He could remember all of the cards in the deck of the cards all in, in, in order, forward and backward, and he accomplished that in about two minutes. Now, he did not have that ability when he started. This is a cute memory task, and you can see that it's engaging this back region of his brain. It's a visual task. This is the same part of the brain, and this is the floor training. And here we're just looking at 100 milliseconds. You see that his brain is responding strongly at 100 milliseconds, where there's no response before it was trained. In fact, his activities were advanced, so he was responding neurologically about twice as fast. This is a person at the top of the distribution. When we measure things like his memory after training, he made no error. In the same way that the brain is plastic, as I'm controlling myself, as I'm learning to use that spoon, I'm changing it, it, my brain as I'm controlling myself, as I'm improving my ability to operate in thought. It's all neurological. Don't accept decline. If you struggle, don't give up. You can be better. You can be better next week. Every little incremental pot change, positive change, ultimately can add up to big changes across time. Use your brain to your advantage.